as this is a demonstration of proper gurney ops for unloading your gurney. When properly unloading your gurney, one partner is going to be positioned on the side of the gurney, the other partner is going to remove it. To remove it, the partner is going to press the unlocking mechanism and remove the gurney. Once you've gotten to this point with the gurney, the other partner can grab the wheels, come around and drop them. Do the safety latch and remove your energy from your hands. All right, this is a demonstration of gurney ops, proper loading technique of a patient. First, you're going to start by lifting the patient. Both partners are going to go down to the bottom, and the bottom partner is going to count on three, and they're going to lift. One, two, three. Once you've lifted, the partner is going to lock the wheels in place and proceed to load. To load, one partner is going to push the gurney in place. The second partner is going to place the locking um, in the locking room. Next, the partner by the feet is going to lift up on the gurney. The second partner is going to grab the heels, lift up, and proceed to help load the patient in. Once loaded in, the uh, partner is going to lock in the gurney and to prevent the gurney from falling out. All right, this is a demonstration of the different positions you may need to put a patient in. We're going to run through high fowlers, semi fowlers, supine, and modified trendelenburgs. First position, which the patient already is in, is supine position. Second position is going to be modified trendelenburgs. What you're going to do, reach down, grab the lever, release. Raise the patient's feet. Additional positions. We have our semi fowler's position. And further up, our high fowler's position. All right, this is a demonstration of a two-person sheeting operation when you're sheeting a patient from one gurney to another or from a gurney to a hospital bed. Uh, it's important to know when you're doing this to make sure that your gurney wheels are locked in position and uh, the gurney does not move. Properly sheet over a patient, you're first going to do all the straps. You're completely out of the way. Two, three. Then you shift the patient over. 